Hi, and welcome to your free lesson on Mr. Outsource's success formula. So over the past couple of years, I've traveled all over the world, and at the same time, I've run my businesses. Uh, and a big part of that is actually, you know, having control of your numbers. And if you're traveling a lot, and what you're gonna accumulate a lot of are these things, right? So you're gonna go out with a, have lunch with a client and you will pay and then you're stuck with a bill and then you get a credit card bill and then suddenly you're stuck with entering you know something from like 50 to 250 um, receipts into the system uh, some kind of system so what I've developed and what I've been doing for a long time now is I've been sending those receipts to my virtual assistant in the Philippines. And it's a simple system. Um, I'll, simple is useful. So I always try to do simple things. So let's see here. Um, when I have a bill uh, from lunch, I will write down who I had lunch with and uh, what the purpose was and what company and then I will take my scanner and scan that straight into a program called Evernote. Evernote is probably the best tool I know about for doing this just because it's so simple it works on your laptop it works on the web it works on your iPad it works on your smartphone and what I do is like every time my wallet gets full I write down all the um, all the things related to the bill. So, uh, for instance, let's find one. Let's find one in here. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, so I had lunch with James Perone on, uh, from Lobster Studio and it's credit card. So basically I just write that on the top here and I CC it. So the virtual assistant will see um, who it was with and what company and then it will see CC which is credit card. What I will do now is I'll show you how to scan these in. Um, you'll notice that I have, I have two bags. Um, sometimes I use my personal card or just cash to pay for things and other times I use the company's credit card. So this is the company credit card thing, this is the personal stuff. And uh, both get sent to the accountant and the accountant goes over and checks. But I'm basically saving time um, doing this work as well as that I save money on the accountant entering the work because it's going to be put in a way that's really clear and easy for him to do that. Um, so all I have to do now is um, collect all my credit card receipts here. Oh, that was the wrong bag. <laughs> I basically write down CC for credit card and P for personal, um, personal payments. Okay, so let's do the James Perone one. Um, usually, well, it depends on where you are. So all I do now is I've bought a uh, scanner from ScanSnap. Uh, it is an excellent, I believe it's Fujitsu. Um, anyway, if you Google ScanSnap, you'll find it. You just open it up like that. I used to use my smartphone to take pictures, but some of them, uh, some of the receipts became a bit blurry, and you know you got lots of small text. So now I just scan it, and all I do is like feed it in like this and then I press start and it's now going to be scanning that straight into um, Evernote I just press there again it creates a PDF of the invoices which are actually being uh, being read by Evernote so Evernote is a really smart program um, because one of the things it does is, is uh, recognize text in uh, the things that you scan in so now I've got it here on my screen. It says uh, exactly the same as here. And all I do now is I drag and drop it into the CC record. And my virtual assistant then sees that I've entered some new um, content into uh, the credit card 
she checks that once a week and she just enters it all into the accounting system. Um, and what I've done after, what I do after I've actually scanned something, just to remem remember, is I just like, I tear it on the top. After I tear it on the top, I just put it back in my bag and uh, then I've got, a, got the actual receipt. You actually need to keep the, the physical receipt as well as you need it digitally uh, to get it to your accountant. So I, I keep all the receipts um, in case of an audit, you need to do that. And, and that's how we do it. That's how we roll and uh, stay tuned for a lot more cool tips for you how to run your business uh, more effectively. And of course, you know, how to outsource parts of your business. So that's a, a big headache for me has been all the travel bills and how to do all those things. And uh, it's so liberating to have an effective system on, on logging all these things, you know. So delegating, using other people's uh, time and, and, and power to, to get more done yourself is, uh, you know, it's the key to su su uh, successful business. Um, signing out here from London, England, and uh, who knows where I'll come from uh, next time. Maybe I'll be uh, somewhere else. Probably. All right. Bye.